Hello everyone, Fred here with Card Dealer Pro, and in this video, we're gonna run you through the spreadsheet view feature within our batches. So this video is going to be for those who have already created a batch and want to see everything that you can do within the spreadsheet. So to begin, I'm gonna navigate over to the batches screen, and this is going to show us a list of all of the batches that we have. To go into the batch details, we click on any of the batches to open them up. Now by default, we show you the cards in gallery view. So we're looking at gallery view right now where you get a front and a back card images as well as the title of the card. You can click on these individually to go to the card details page, but for the sake of our demo, we're gonna look at the spreadsheet view. So if we go ahead up here at the top and change from gallery view to spreadsheet view by clicking on it, this completely changes the look of the data that we see. So we're now gonna see all of the cards that are in this batch in a spreadsheet-like list as opposed to individual cards. Now with this, we can click on any of the cards that are within the batch, and it'll show us a preview of the card over on the right. We can look at the value of the cards. So we can see the average, the high, and the low price based off of recent eBay transactions. We can pivot from the front image of the card to the back. We can click on these images to zoom in and see a large high resolution version of that image. Another interesting thing you can do is we actually have a link to the recent sales on eBay and the recent active listings for that card. So if you wanted to see where these numbers came from, you can click on recent sales and this would open up in a new browser window all of the recent sales for the card that we're looking at in our spreadsheet view. You could see all of the transactions of those items that have sold or if we wanted to figure out information on pricing our card, we could click on active listings to look at what our competition has this card priced for, which might help us determine what we want to sell the card for. So kind of convenient to be able to just click on that instead of having to search on eBay to see all of that information. Now, when we're back on the spreadsheet view, you can scroll to the right to see all of the different fields that we have. Um, you can click directly into any of these to edit that information as well. So as an example, if I wanted to edit uh, the information for this particular card, I deleted some of that out so that we could type it back in. We can look at the info on the card and then correct any of the information right in spreadsheet view. Or another thing we can do is if we wanna change information in bulk, like let's say that uh, as an example, I wanna set the purchase price for all of these different cards that I have to be uh, $9.99. We can go up here to the fill column button, click on fill column, choose which column you want to fill in. So um, I want to fill in the buy it now price of all of these to be $9.99. I press fill and then that has now filled all of the column of buy it now to be $9.99. Or, for example, let's say that with all of these ungraded cards, I want to set all of those cards, um, the grade to be near mint. So all I do is hit fill column, choose the grade column, and type in my grade, hit fill. That's now in all of the cards. So convenient way to edit all of the data in bulk. Another thing you can do is you can actually change and save your view. So as an example, if I don't want to look at all of the areas for um, where we store this in inventory, I can go into hide column and then choose the columns that I no longer want to see. So I'm going to get rid of cabinet, shelf, box, row, and hit done. And now all of those are gone and the only thing left in the view are the columns that I wanted to continue to see. Another thing we could do is if we wanted to remove cards from the batch, we can click here to select all, or we could click on a card individually, click remove from selected, and it asks us to confirm if we want to delete those cards. We're going to say yes, those cards are now gone. Last thing to show you with the spreadsheet view is in this upper right corner, if we click on these three dots, we'll get a few more options of what we can do. We can remove this batch entirely, which would delete all of the cards and all of the batch. We can change the status to close once we're done working on it, or we can add banners to the cards. Um, to see the banner feature, which I think is really cool, uh, check out the how-to video on how to do that. And the last thing that I would show you is that we have the add cards button. If you click on that, this would let you add more cards to the batch for us to document 
and get ready to sell. Again, how-to videos on how to add more cards to a batch, how to add cards um, at the beginning of the batch process as well. So check out those how-to videos to see more on those features. So this was all about our spreadsheet view. I would love your feedback on this. If there's anything else you'd like us uh, to build in new features that you'd like to see, feedback, etc., please reach out to us, let us know. Check out the other how-to videos that we have on all of the other features uh, for Card Dealer Pro. And if you can't find the answers you're looking for, as always, we have this support button down here in the bottom right corner of all of our pages. Simply click on the support button, fill out this form, and that'll put you in contact with us where you can set up a one-on-one -on -one call, demo, uh, setup, help, etc. Whatever you need, we're always here to support you. So thanks for checking out the video and happy collecting.